Lumberjack fans, it's your boy Buckets. We're back with the Axum Insider Update. We are here hanging out with men's basketball today. Going to talk to Coach Keller about the hottest team in the WAC. They're 4-0 in WAC play. Maybe I got some eligibility left. I'm going to see if they'll let me play with them. Come on. Jack Nation, he's back. The Axum Insider, back from winter break. Hanging out with my man, Coach Keller here. The hottest team in the WAC right now, the SFA men's basketball team. Coach, you guys are coming off a really big week for you. Uh, took down New Mexico State here at home. Took down Grand Canyon here at home. Now you guys are heading out on the road. You're gonna face a couple of Utah teams and then back to Texas for Sam Houston. First of all, how big was this week for you guys, especially coming off of a, maybe a rough month with the injuries, stuff like that? How big was it to get guys back and, and start playing SFA's brand of basketball? Yeah, great question, Buckets. We were, it was good to be home. Uh, we had, I thought our, we had the best crowd of our year against Grand Canyon. Uh, we took care of home court. I thought we were getting better. We're playing, we probably played our two best games last week at home. And uh, we did what we're supposed to do, right, in league play. Yeah. So going on the road, what is it that you guys as a staff, as a program, try to do? Like you're, you're going to go to Utah and play a couple games, and then you got to come back to Texas for Sam Houston. How do you keep these guys comfortable? How do you kind of keep them in a routine when you guys go on one of these extended trips? Well, we do the same things. The routine's a good point. We do the same things. You know, we try to eat similar foods, you know, practice as much as normal as we can. We practice in the mornings. and. So we try to do the same things as much as possible. I mean, we played three true road games so far this year. We won all three. Uh, a couple of years ago, we won the most road games in college basketball. And we try to make them feel comfortable. And if you get in a routine where guys know what's coming, it's you know that's the best part about it. So, I mean, we're excited about going to Utah, places that we've never been before. Um, and I think if we can continue to improve on our defense, I think that will give us a chance to be successful. Now, the first time this year that you and I talked, way back before the season started, you told me that this team, you thought offensively, might be one of the more skilled teams you've ever had here, one of the best shooting teams you've had here. And I think that's played out at times over the season. But with the injuries, you know, guys playing a lot more minutes, especially guys like Nana having to play 36 minutes a game there for a while, the defense really suffered because of that for a no while. Question. What does it feel like for you guys to be back to that press you style of defense that you guys like to play and, and what are you seeing from these guys that, uh, from an energy standpoint now that you've you know got 10 bodies you can throw out there? last week was the first week bucket we've been able to go five on five since the first part of november almost two months it's hard to get better you know it's like going to play golf without any practice balls right so you need to you need to you know we're just playing games without practicing practicing your short game practicing your putting hitting the driver off the tee and you don't know where it's going as a coach I was uncomfortable really knowing who we were getting off the bus, and that's the worst feeling in the world. Yeah. And so you're just kind of, you know, band-aiding it together for a while. And so last week, I think we got a chance to practice some and kind of sharpen our game and put some new wrinkles in. But with our defense, it all starts on the point. It all starts guarding the ball. You know, we had a lot of guys playing out there at AJ who really didn't know what to do. And you, and you learn best by watching somebody else do it, right? And, you know, in your sport, videotape, you know, watching yourself, watching other great players play. We got Posey back now, who I think is the best on-ball defender in the league. You know, getting kind of some of his minutes restrictions coming off, he's still got the hands kind of messed up. But, you know, when you throw two guys out there back-to-back -back when they're fresh guarding the basketball, makes our defense, allows us to deny, allows us to get people sped up. That's what I'm looking forward to this week is really, you know, setting the I use the term setting the rules how the game's going to be played yeah. and versus somebody setting the rules on us. That's right. You guys heard it here. Head coach of the hottest team in the WAC right now, the 4-0 Lumberjacks going on the road to face a couple of Utahs, back to Sam Houston the next week and then we'll get them back here to the sawmill for a couple games. Stick around. We're going to have a lot more coverage for you guys over the spring with the Axum Insider. We'll catch you next time. Axum Jones.